Rihanna devastated as Nicki Minaj exposed Megan's lie that took Tori to jail. The Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion feud just got messier because now Rihanna has entered the brawl, making this whole situation even more interesting and shocking. In case you need a quick refresher, Megan dissed Nicki on her his song, igniting a fire between the two, and Nicki, never one to hold back, had a lot to say in response. And she posted a pic of her feet. You want to know why she posted a pic of her feet? Because she just leaked a new song and she was like, get up on your good foot. So she was talking about, you know, Megan Thee Stallion. And now it got even juicier because Nikki decided to bring up Megan's shooting scandal with Tori Lanez, claiming that Megan wanted a Rihanna moment. Yikes. During her recent interview, Nicki Minaj started by comparing Megan and Gail King's interview, comparing it to Rihanna's 2009 CBS News appearance. Shortly after she accused Megan of villainizing artists like Tori Lanez, the baby and her ex-boyfriend Paradison Fontaine for every album rollout. Seemingly not done, Nikki then made the very wild claim that Megan wanted a Rihanna moment saying, now you go on Gail King. She wanted, uh, to be honest, it is so obvious, she wanted a Rihanna moment so bad. Choosing to be stands for Nikki is why y'all have to pretend that that song is good when it's barely a song. It was a collection of Nikki's tweets from the past three days, along with two minutes of threatening ASMR. But here's the thing, Rihanna is just known for being herself. You get what you see, you get what you get, you get what you see the type of vibe, right? Rihanna never would milk something, like you could tell she couldn't wait to try to move on with her life, and then people even bashed her for not dragging it out, not milking it. She was just like, yo, I was mad young, we were young, I'm just trying to move on with my life now. You know why? Because Rihanna knows that she was a superstar with or without controversy she's beautiful with or without controversy she's loved with or without controversy i'm sorry sympathy nikki then added but then you need constant sympathy and then you get on social media and you tell somebody ain't nobody gonna respond to me then when people respond to you you go mute and then try to stop my song from coming out if nikki minaj had done any of those things all oh, y'all would have a lot to say but i understand heavy is the head that wears the crown i'm the queen okay and it's worse because we know what Nicki minaj has been capable of i will never invalidate her artistry or her impact it's also deeply concerning along with a lot of her other behavior Clearly, she had a lot to say, but it was her mention of Rihanna that's got everyone's attention. Now, for those who don't know, a Rihanna moment, Nico was seemingly referring to the infamous DV incident between Rihanna and Chris Brown. And honestly, that claim is wilder than a roller coaster ride. And to no surprise, insiders say that Rihanna is reportedly not pleased with Nikki using her trauma as a way to get back at Megan. And can you blame her? though it is a low blow even for the feisty Nicki Minaj interestingly Rihanna isn't the only one who's got beef with what Nicki had to say fans are up in arms if they took offense with Nicki's words and rightfully so as one user commented now you're talking about DV involving two other celebrities huh women being abused by abusers sorry this is bottom of the barrel and if Rihanna drags you it'll be well deserved the F with her and she ended up saying that megan the stallion wanted a rihanna moment referring to what rihanna had to endure when it came to chris brown and her dv situation another added how can you all expect anything less from a woman who married a known sexual predator and her brother want to and she stood by their sides i mean she ain't got the worst morals the third user didn't defer writing i know you effing lion hasn't she experienced a dv in her relationships didn't her pups try to burn her mother alive when she was younger 
These are real questions. I'm not even being funny about this. What is really going on? The last user seemingly hinted at cancelling Nikki, saying, so now she's making fun of DV. That's hell of a stray for Rihanna to have to catch so. At what point do you cancel Nicki Minaj? Dead parent DV. Like, come on. Now she is and has gone way too far. Now, question is, do they have a valid point? Let us take a closer look at Nikki's claims. Without a doubt, both Rihanna and Megan are victims of DV, with Rihanna suffering abuse from Chris Brown and Megan experiencing her own traumatic incident with Tori Lanez. Like, I don't like that. I don't like you slapping me. If I go on stage, I got a scratch on my face and I got to explain it like, oh, no, I fell or like, or you, or like, if you got a, if you got a scar or what, or a bruise, you got to put makeup on that. Feel- just to recap, Rihanna's incident dates way back to 2009, the start of more than a decade of allegations and reports of violence and harassment from Chris Brown. Rihanna discussed the assault and its aftermath in an intense interview with ABC News months after it. Somewhat similarly, in April 2022, Megan discussed being shot by Tori Lanez nearly two years prior with Gail King on CBS Morning. Lanez was convicted of first-degree assault with a firearm, discharge of firearm with gross negligence and having a concealed firearm in a vehicle and is currently serving a 10-year sentence in prison. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick like because I'm like, oh my god, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important with that at the back of your mind let us take a moment to analyze nikki's claims are they as far-fetched as they seem well when you look at the facts it is hard to believe that megan would jeopardize her career and her life just for a moment in a spotlight she's been killing it in the music industry collaborating with the biggest names out there so no it is highly unlikely that she wanted a rihanna moment like nikki suggests but are we really surprised by nikki's behavior not at all i feel like if megan does want to keep speaking about it like she can because it was something that she did deal with and it was something that like really affected her life and affected her something traumatic ever since megan dissed her nikki has been hollering louder than a bench in heat and trying to make her voice hard in case you missed out on this spicy drama it all started after megan dropped her latest single his in which she took shots at several targets and fans have linked some of her jobs to drake and an ex-boyfriend rapper perdison fontaine however one particular lyric those hos don't be mad at megan those HOS mad at Megan's law still doubt since it references to federal law requiring information about registered sex offenders to be publicized, which seem to strike a chord with Nikki. This beef perfectly illustrates the difference between a fan and a stan. A fan is somebody who enjoys the artistry and or persona of a famous person, so they support them. The release of his escalated a simmering, somewhat unforgettable beef to another level with Nikki now claiming that Megan wanted a Rihanna moment. But what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Do you think Nicki Minaj's claims about Megan Thee Stallion wanting a Rihanna moment hold any truth? Or do you think she's just trying to stir up drama? And do you agree with insiders and fans who believe it is inappropriate for Nicki to use Rihanna's trauma as a way to attack Megan? Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. And as always, stay tuned for more scandalous stories. Stories.